Hi folks, I want to show you something. What am I going to do with a couple of old metal hangers? Well, I'm going to show you. Well, our power is still laying in the grass. <clears throat> Why do I have these hangers? What am I doing? Well, I'm going to show you something. We are going to trench our power in now. And as a result of that, we need to know where there are cables, possibly gas lines in the ground, cable TV, power, whatever. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do that. All right, here's the, here's the hangers. We're just going to show you one. What you want to do is you want to cut it about the, the width of your hand. Not this part, but this part. So this is about the width of my hand. I'll cut it right about here. I don't want to ruin my snippers, so I just put a nick in there, and it breaks real easy. Same thing here. Just a little nick, and it breaks real easy. So there's that. Put it at a 90 degree angle. Get it nice and straight here. Now I have one. Now we'll do the second one. Try and make it about the same as, as the first one. I think I'll nick it a little bit more. This one's a little bit thicker. All right. Okay, now I bend them as straight as I can. Now you're saying, how on earth am I going to find an underground cable with two, two wires? Well, let me get them so they're nice and equal. Yeah. Okay. Just that a little bit. Okay, so now we're pretty equal. Here's the trick. Make sure you wrap your hand all the way around the wire. You don't hold it tight at all. You let it loose. Okay, and then you angle it down so they're parallel and hold it about this far away. Now, now we're going to look at the gas line. Okay, there's the gas line. Show them where the propane tank is. See the propane tank? So you know the gas line's in the ground going there. Okay, here we go. There is where your gas line is, right down below. Now I step further. And it continues on. I'll back up. And there is your gas line. Directly below. Is that cool or what? Let me take you over here. There's a line going to the garage. Let's take a look. You can see it in the gravel. The line in the gravel where they went underground years ago with the cable that goes to that box that's laying in the grass. Okay, here we go. Let's let's see what happens. Wow, that one's strong. That one works good. See how that works, guys? Now watch. You can see it in the ground. You can see the way the ground is disrupted or where the weeds are growing. Here we go. <laughs> how do you like that? That my friends, is how you find a cable buried. Now if you have a service called Julie, like we do in Illinois, or a service uh, that will check for underground cables, definitely use them. If you don't, and you're in a pinch, you can use these. And now we're going to go check out and find my phone cable out front. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to walk in the front yard and see if we can find any buried cable. Here's our satellite dish and you can guess there's something buried there. Here we go. Right there. And then you can see it on the house. There you go. So now we're going to walk out here. There's nothing out here that I can find. And we're going to loop around. If you look across the street, 
you can see that that green box about 20 feet to the right of the mailbox there it is wait no there it is okay now we're looping back around you saw where the the phone line is now we're gonna we know we're gonna come across it somewhere there's we're getting a reading a reading a reading there it is okay I know when I trench I'm trenching to the telephone pole about 15 feet from here so now we walk now I don't know if I'm gonna pick up the overhead wires I haven't tried that one yet nope we didn't pick up the overhead wires I can trench that I've got about 15 feet from that area to the telephone pole and I'm going directly back to the back corner of the house so I know I'm good okay here we go somebody else is gonna do it now he's never done it before ever hold them loose there they go hold them farther apart hold them farther apart there they go back up now you get the hang you get to hold them at more of an angle down don't worry they're not they'll work mm -hmm. okay try it again go ahead make sure you hold them farther apart there you go <laughs> isn't that cool yeah keep coming now they should come back out there you go that's it okay we are doing an experiment with our rods and then we're going to turn the hose on right now there's nothing in the hose but air okay cameraman here you go now watch this here we go oh suck it in so it looks a okay, hold on <clears throat> you ready Grant? Okay, here we go. Watch. Watch this. Ready? Here we go. Okay, you see that? Nothing. Yeah? Okay, would somebody please turn the water on full force? Leave it on, Grant. Leave the camera roll. Show that. Mm-hmm. There we go. Water is on full force. Now, here we go. There you go. There's your magnetic field. And then you go forward and it goes off. You go backwards and it goes on. It's it's something that's dense. Plastic is not okay. Plastic is not dense. The water is dense. Thank you for humoring me for this fine experiment. Okay, I'm surprised.